Hey guys, Jake here with my bring back and today we're going to be going over actually customizing the keyboard that pops up with different text fields. And as you guys know, the more user friendly that your application is, the uh, the better people are going to respond to it, they're going to use it more frequently, etc. And so with this, we are going to uh, just put in some basic labels and then a text field and then we'll modify it from there. So I've just uh, brought up a simple view based template where uh, we've got one view and right now we're in the XIB, the, the zib, which is your view. And then we're just going to throw over the, the view of the attributes and also the, the objects that we're going to place in there. So enable your view up here. And then uh, we're just going to drag and drop a label in there. And then also drag and drop a text field in there. So the label, we just want to define what people are going to actually put in this label. It gives them a little bit of guidance. And in this case, we're just going to put phone number and uh, maybe make this a little bit bigger by dragging that over and then what we're going to do is we're just going to copy both these and give ourselves another set and then paste another set and another set just for demonstration purposes here we're just going to put uh, URL and then maybe uh, mix and miscellaneous and you'll see what I'm doing here but uh, as you guys are doing this and preparing your apps you want to guide them through where what they're going to input and make it easy for them and so this first box here we've got phone number which the label just it gives them guidance and then we've got the text field and that's where they're actually going to tap it with their finger and input the text that they that you're requesting or that the user needs to put in there and so with that as you click there and you've got your view enabled with the, the attributes to the right you'll see you can put placeholder text so in here maybe we'll just put uh, phone number this is another way you can guide them etc just for uh, demonstration purposes you can align the text so on and so forth you can you can mess with that uh, font and all that but we, what we want to touch base on is this keyboard down here um, right now it's set to default so that's just going to be your standard ABC um, keyboard QWERTY keyboard on the screen but uh, as you drop in you'll see we've got several different options that we can use in this case we're requesting a phone number so we want to put uh, the phone pad and so that gives people you know the ability to basically simulate a phone as they're inputting their number so we're gonna set the default keyboard for this text field as phone pad now we're gonna go down to the second one here again put in URL we're gonna do a mix so that's going to be probably your default in most cases. Um, I'm going to put in an email address just so you guys can see. And then miscellaneous, oops, miscellaneous we'll just put numbers and punctuation. So you guys can see kind of what we're doing and uh, where we're going with it. Again, you can see the customization options with the text field. We've got uh, our placeholder text here. And that's another way if we didn't want to utilize a label, we could just put a placeholder text which gives guidance there. So let's go ahead and run the application and see where we're at and what using a keyboard actually does for us. As that loads, I'm going to blow it up for you guys. And, uh, and then just go ahead and click into your first phone number tab. And as you can see, we've got uh, the number pad, which gives them easy, easy access to put in their, their phone number. And then uh, click return, and that goes away or drop the keyboard down. Again, URL with the URL the nice thing with the URL uh, keyboard is it's gonna have the dot com and uh, that helps them move through your options a little bit quicker and then go down to the mixed you can see we've got an at symbol for an email address we, we standardize that as the email address so they can click at and uh, that kinda helps with uh, moving through it and then the final keyboard here which is uh, numbers and symbols again it's got a little bit more user functions and guides our users into what we need for an easy to use keyboard that pops up and displays so that's what uh, kind of this tutorial is is, is uh, simplifying the keyboard option and moving forward next tutorials we're going to be going through actually how do we drop that keyboard down usually uh, we should be able to click on the screen somewhere and the keyboard can go away or after we're done editing we should have it go away after they click return we need to have that go away so it's not a hindrance to the actual user having to click this bottom right drop down so 
Hope you liked the tutorial. Um, again, subscribe. Let us know what you're looking for in apps, and we'll uh, try to help you out with those. All right, peace out, guys.